Hey guys, I've been wanting to do a NASCAR turnaround video for a while. Um, look at turnaround NASCAR. Um, I haven't did a NASCAR video in a long time, but uh, I'm hoping next month to put some more up because I'm good. To now I want to go to the Hall of Fame. Hendrick Motorsports. I want to go down to Charlotte and go to some places next month. That was part of my 2019 plans to do. Um, so I'm going to start fulfilling those plans starting in June, if anybody wants to know. But um, one thing I think NASCAR needs to do is the cost to run a team. BK Racing, I read, spent $20 million in 2016 to run their cars, you know, and they run like crap. That is like the worst, that was the worst team in NASCAR, in my opinion. And they spent $20 million to run. You know, they had a, I think the Daytona 500 that year, they entered four cars. So I would say about $9 million to run two full nine million per team to run two full-time cars for bk racing yeah, that is uh and that's one of the reasons nascar is losing sponsors because that's a pretty big chunk of budget and that's just bk racing you get to hendrick motorsports it could be 18 20 25 million a year to run a car that's why today you see uh cars you have uh Drivers with 10 different sponsors. Chase Elliott's my favorite driver, but look at his sponsors. He's got Napa car, Mountain Dew car, Little Caesars car, Hooters car, um, Sun Energy car. Not, I don't know how many. I don't know if he runs more than that, but that's at least five different schemes that he runs throughout the year. And um, in my opinion, I don't buy diecast no more because I don't want to buy five or six different cars. That'd be like three, four hundred dollars. So I just quit buying diecast a long time ago. Um, which I want to do a video of put my NASCAR diecast. I used to buy a lot of it, but you know I've slowed down over the years. Um, but they need to get the cost per car to run, uh, down. I, I would say half. Um. I'd say maybe 15 million is what a top driver should be. Um, other things, uh, people do not hate me saying this, but I think we need more manufacturers. Um, I think Toyota has money to run their cars. I think that's why they run so good. Um, I, I would look at Audi, um, just... I don't know, just another car brand that runs um, in other sports that has money to put behind their teams to run. Um, I, the Ford and Chevrolet, they, they were bailed out with the bankruptcy, so I don't think they're putting as much money as they could in their racing programs. And I think that's hurting. I just think we need a, one or two more manufacturers, somebody that maybe a uh, Nissan, or somebody that will get behind their team. I think Toyota get behind their team. They were big when they come in. Um, they, I think they dominated the truck series when they first got into that. and. Once they hooked up with Joe Gibbs Racing, it wasn't uh, long before they started winning races. So I just don't think that um, that Chevy and Ford put enough into their racing programs uh, um, compared to Toyota. And you know, maybe that could... Um, That would help in the long run. Um, is Dodge the answer? I don't know. I don't think I don't know if Dodge is the answer. But um, yeah, maybe get another manufacturer in, like Nissan or Audi. Just just somebody with you know some money to 
get behind the racing program and really succeed at it. Um, lower the uh, sponsorship cost to run a car per year. You look, sponsors are leaving like crazy. I mean, Budweiser used to have a see used to have a full car. They don't anymore. Um, Miller Lite has uh, done their on their sponsorship. Havoline doesn't have a car anymore. Valvoline sometimes has a car. I think they sponsor Alex Bowman sometimes. And probably somebody in the boardroom at these companies. Um, they have budgets and NASCAR cost increases. And they can't afford to sponsor the car fully. And putting that money somewhere else. That's the case with Budweiser. They're not. They're cutting back on their car sponsorship, so they can put money somewhere else. And uh, you know, Home Depot, um, Lowe's. Lowe's was a big one. That was a shocker. To I wonder if they stayed a couple more years. This cost Jimmy won the 2016 championship. Cause they had there's rumors about Lowe's leaving then. I bet they just stayed a couple more years because he won the championship. But, uh, yeah, Furniture Row Racing, another one. They lost five hour energy and they couldn't afford to compete no more. That's, that's absolutely insane. You know, they could have, uh, that was an organization that was going somewhere, in my opinion. Man, they could have had Truex and probably Christopher Bell coming up next year. I would, if I was that team, I would have maybe took a loss this season just to get just an invest in future because I think Christopher Bell is a future star. Um, man, they could have had Truex and Christopher Bell. It would have been one awesome team for Furniture Row. And I think... Um, I think uh, Levine Family Racing, maybe they're, they're going to become the new Furniture Row. I like uh, D Burrito or Matt the Benedetto, whatever you call him, but I think they need a star. I think they can need Christopher Bell and another top driver. So I don't think uh, Matt the Benedetto, he, he drives good sometimes, but I think they need a star behind that car and they could be a powerful organization. And that's a team that come from the started from the bottom and going to the top. And you, you don't really see that anymore. It's either they stay at the bottom or they come in at the top. Alright, another thing I think, man, I would pave the way for Dale Jr. to own the team. Um I think Teresa not giving Dale Jr. half a DEI was a bad decision on her part. It ended DEI. And, um, I think DEI still being around would be a good thing for NASCAR. And I think Dale Jr. moving Jr. Motorsports, which he can't really because Hendrick is. I think he owns half of JR Motors, Junior Motorsports. They need to cut uh, Hendrick and allow Junior to own a team. And I think the 88 team needs to be a part of that. You know, the 88 team needs to be and nationwide. They need to be a Junior Motorsports. Maybe they could make a deal with Hendrick for Alex Bowman to do that. That would be a good move for NASCAR. Um, that's just my opinion. That might be crazy, but I think it'd be good. Maybe Justin Allgaier. They could have a two-car team, Alex Bowman and Justin Allgaier. Or another driver. Um, maybe let him have the eight back and Childress take the 31 back. And have the eight and the eighty-eight. That would be a good move for NASCAR. Um, I 
I think more drivers owning teams would be a good move for NASCAR in the future. You know, Tony Stewart, I really like him as an owner. I really um, think that the Stewart Haas racing is going to go on for a long time. And like I said, I like what I'm seeing out of Tony Stewart as an owner. And he really supports his drivers. You know, Michael Walter for Ace and Cease and Operations was bad. Um, that was another driver. He had Michael Walter, which he didn't own Michael Walter for Ace and I think he owned a small percentage. He just had the name. That was bad for NASCAR. But in the beginning, you know, I was thinking that organization probably shouldn't have never been. But I like what I... But I like Michael Walter being an owner, being a part of that, and that was bad for NASCAR. Maybe in the future, Kyle Busch or Brad Keselowski has talked about uh, investing in NASCAR and being an owner. And I think that would be very good for the sport. You know, you have fans could associate that team with Dell Jr. or Brad Keselowski or Kyle Busch or whoever. And that would be good for the sport. Because, um, you know, Roger Penske, Rick Hendrick, they're getting in the 70s. So I'm excited. I think uh, Jeff Gordon will take over Hendrick Motorsports, and I think that'll be good. That will uh, have extend the life of Hendrick Motorsports for years to come. Um, Another thing is ticket prices to NASCAR event. You know, I haven't went to a NASCAR event. Last time I went to a NASCAR event was 2006 Truck Series. I had a free pass to go then, so. I was looking at the ticket prices, you know. 75, you know. If you get a really good seat, it's like 150. And, um, and they had an article, the Bristol t uh, Hotels is $300. Uh, some of them are charging $300. Tickets, 150 Man, you can't, and, you know, look at the price of going to Disney World. And uh, I think I'd rather go to, and, I'm a NASCAR fan, but I'm, I'd probably want to go to Disney World before I would go to a race. And, you know, it's just, and comparing the two, that's that's crazy. I can go to private Disney World cheaper than I can go to the Bristol race. If I'm taking a trip and booking a hotel. So, you know, it's, uh, to me, I think tickets should be $49, maybe 50 59 and don't go over to like maybe 99 109 for the best seat. So it would be an ideal price. And if you have lower ticket prices, you know, you don't make that money up and increase, increase people going to the races. If there's more people at the race, there's more people at the venue than, um, Concession sales, you know, mark that off. I mean, you can charge uh, five dollars for a cheeseburger and two dollars for a drink. That's that's basically that's just normal price, and it's high, but that's what things go for. So you can make revenue up that way. I just don't think they get that, and uh, which I read somewhere, which they didn't care about. Uh, They didn't care about how many people go to the track because the TV deals, uh, each track gets so much money from that. So, but again, you know, you want to get as much money as you can and if they lower the ticket prices, they can make money up by selling concessions. I mean, you got a family of four, you know, that's. They'll probably spend twenty, thirty dollars, forty dollars at the concession stand during the race. They'll probably keep going back. So that, you know that they can make some revenue of that if they lower the ticket prices. Um, 
in the hotel they need to uh, I guess it's their individual business they can charge whatever they want but I don't know if I think maybe uh, yeah I was looking up tickets to Disney World I mean the hotels near Disney World too and comparing it to NASCAR and you can get a hotel at Disney World for like 160 a night. So I would think a NASCAR event shouldn't be over that. You know, it's going to be high, but I don't think it should be $300 a night high, maybe 169 a night. And, you know, they'll, they'll get more business. That's just my thoughts on some of this stuff. I know this is a long video. I don't normally make long videos, but um Oh, the die another thing, die cast prices and souvenir prices, I think. Um yeah, it's kind of out. We go buy a t-shirt at Walmart. It's like $16. You know, which I think the uh, fan mail is uh, what's the uh, they get the speed crate now, which is $30 a month. I think that's great. Um, but any other bond die cast or stuff like that, seventy dollars for a die cast. And if you want to get all your drivers, um, like I said, that's a thousand. You'd spend a thousand bucks on souvenirs, buying hats and shirts and die cast a year, which I think they need to do something about that. But uh, that's just my thoughts on some of this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more, if you want more NASCAR content, go to JB Racing News Reviews. Uh, that guy, he does a great job at NASCAR. You get to put your picks in. You can win a diecast every week. So uh, go subscribe to him if you want NASCAR content. But I just want to make a video, um, you know, explaining. What, how I think they should turn NASCAR around. Um, this is my thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, I'm out.